Hi everyone, welcome back again to the Queen's Park Theatre and National Reconciliation Week. And the theme for 2020 is In This Together. And I'm just reading a little bit off of the National Reconciliation Australian website. So um, Chief Executive Officer Karen Mundine said that Australia's ability to move forward as a nation relies on individuals, organisations and communities coming together in the spirit of reconciliation. The National Reconciliation Week theme 2020 reinforces that we all have a role to play when it comes to reconciliation. And in playing our part, we collectively build relationships and communities that value Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's histories and cultures, she said. When we come together to build mutual respect and understanding, we shape a better future for all Australians. So I would like to introduce you to, on my right, Mr Ronald Cross, who works with the Bundi Yarra Aboriginal Organisation in Geraldton. Sitting next to me on my right is Mr Graham Taylor, who is one of our return service mm. vets and has had um, a lot of history regarding um, return servicemen in, in Geraldton. And on my left, I have Edie Ma. Edie is a language worker, a language teacher with the Itawonga Language Centre, which is based at Bundiara. And Edie has also previously been uh, an education teacher. Yes, an education teacher as well. So the question that I want to ask Ronald first is what does In It Together mean to you for this theme for this year? Well, for me, um, basically, I, I see it as the occupation of this country has got to be recognised that it was not a vacant country. And people now have got to recognise this fact that this land was stolen from our people. And we need to say, get them to realise that fact and then maybe we can reconcile what needs to be done. No worries. And Graham, what does this year's theme mean to you? Uh, to me, um, it means um, more work together. Um, doesn't matter who you are, but as long as the um, people realise that uh, the Aboriginal people are the original um, dis people who've come from this country and we all get together and in harmony and um, work through everything so that we can make Australia a better place. Thank you. And Edie, mm -hmm. what would you say um, is your take on? Boys, um, it's in it together um, for all Australians because um, um, and moving forward and also to recognise our cultures, our very strong cultures um, in the past and before um, as well, living here, our people were living here for many thousands of years. So just recognising that, moving forward, working together as a school educator, um, was in my teaching, teaching the students, exactly that, moving forward together and for everyone, all Australians, to recognise our culture, what it was and what it is now. And within my work at Itawonga, um, reconciling with teaching the language, Aboriginal languages, eight languages in the Midwest alone, um, bringing everyone together um, at school, in the community. Thank you, Edie. Mm. And Ronald, tell us a little bit about your story. What's your story? My story in what sense? Well, what have you, what have you done for the community in Jordan? Where do you work? <coughs> tell us a bit about your job that you do at um, Bundiara. Bundiara, I started there uh, about uh, eight years ago, working as an environmental health worker. And uh, since I've left there and I've come back to build the war memorial that we got up there and uh, I volunteer all my services there now. 
um, Ronald is also <coughs> um, a returned serviceman. You've served in the um, army as well, haven't you? And Graham, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you've done a lot of work in the community and you've actually previously been a, a winner of the Elder yeah. of the Year for NAIDOC, haven't you? Yeah, um, yeah I've been in Jordan a uh, number of years, maybe 40 odd or so, yeah, because my oldest son turned 40 this year. And um, through that time in uh, 2008, I got the um, um, Aboriginal elder here in the Midwest mm. through the Jilton region. And um, 2012, I was in the Hall of Fame for Bundyarra. In 2015, that's when I won the um, National Aboriginal Elder of the Year. Um, I'd done a trip over to Adelaide and received that award. Um, that was quite um, enjoyable, that trip. And um, I sat next to people like uh, Mr. Warren Mundine and Miss Lois O'Donoghue. I was quite pleased to sit next to them because you know, I knew them, but they didn't know me. But at the end of the night, they was all shaking my hands. You know, they all knew me and I didn't know them. But yeah, it was quite good. Um, but before then, I had um, six years in the army. <clears throat> I went to Vietnam for seven months and uh, in Malaya for six months. Um, all overseas. And um, then when I got out, I came back to the Midwest and was on the Jilton um, main roads for 10 years. And I've been here ever since, been working with Streeties for a number of years. I was chairperson there for a number of years. And in the last couple of years, I thought I'd retire and mm. pull out and let all these young folk take over. Step up, yeah. Step up, yeah, and in which they did which is quite good and um, and now I'm involved with the um, Bundyarra War Memorial which Ronnie um, started with his um, you know, new idea and I just thought of um, I'd help him out with the list of names and mm. going through contacts with the RSL and everything and and also we had one lady helping us too, Sue with the name, she she done all the um, groundwork, you know, getting all the names together and that, and uh, our memorial looks uh, fantastic. Mm, sure, it certainly yeah. does. So um, I've known Graham for a number of years too, and he mentioned his oldest boy that I actually taught in Jordan. We have an Aboriginal preschool uh, previously that used to be known as Meekaway Aboriginal yeah. Preschool. And Graham's children attended there and I taught them at that preschool. So yeah, two of them, yeah. Showing my <laughs> age, <laughs> Edie, no, tell us a little no. bit about yourself and your work at the Language Centre and also with the schools as well. With the schools, yeah. Um, well, I started in Northampton where I lived with my husband and family. And in 1996, I started as an AIEO the Northampton and uh, the District High School. And my pathway was from there to the, um, I studied the, to be a language teacher and taught that at Northampton, Bluff Point School and the Holland Street Special School for a few years. So then I um, went on to Curtin University and come out as a qualified teacher so then I got a job at the Jordan Senior. So I went up to the senior senior level, teaching year 11 and 12, or year 10s I started, year 11 and 12s, um, where it was um, a, a waste subject. So in the football academy and the girls um, program, Aboriginal girls, Walagura, um, Wangamanyalu program and I taught for 12 years in this high school. Yeah, just, and it, it was good because... Um, what, were the, what, were the, what were the kids of, like? Did, 
were they very accepting of the um, language being taught and in the yeah, schools? Yeah, because most of them came through primary learning the language, so they were awesome. very familiar, very excited, keen. And the best part, it was counted in their WACE certificate. Awesome. That was really good. That's, um, that's one really good thing about Jordan. One of the mm. really good things is that we've got an amazing language program here um, at the Itawonga Language mm. Centre, which is out at Bundy Yarra. And um, anybody else want to say anything else about what you think this year's theme means to you in this together? Recognising... For me, it's about recognising the work that all of the elders in our community past um, have done for us and it's about us carrying that through to our younger generation and the younger generation sitting down and listening and it's about teaching that to our wider community, the non-Aboriginal community and teaching them um, the Aboriginal culture, inviting them into our circle and um, teaching them. So anybody else want to add a little bit about your life? Or? Um, I'd just like to say that in the Gilton region, there's a hell of a lot of um, Aboriginal people living here, you know, mainly Yamagis, but also we've got people from all around WA who've found this place, you know, a good place to live. Beautiful. And, um, you know, if we can all get together and be as one, throughout the uh, Midwest, you know, it'll be fine. You know, the rec reconciliation has always got to be, you know, working together. Ron, mm. anything to add? No, it's basically what Graham said. There's uh, so many different communities coming into Jordan mm. that if uh, we knit as one, we'll show ourselves as a strong force and maybe people will understand and look at our mm. culture and, and traditions and maybe reconcile with that. So in, in finishing, I would, just, I would just like to invite people out there in the community. You've, he you've heard us talk about some of the organisations here, uh, Bundy Yarra Aboriginal Corporation. You've heard us talk about the Itawonga Language Centre. You also heard Graham mention one, and, and the pet name for us is Streeties, but the proper name for that is Jordan Streetwork Aboriginal Corporation, and they, they have worked for many, many, many years in the Jordan community with the youth. So we have, a very, we have some very strong organisations in Jordan. The non-Aboriginal community out there, I'm inviting you. Ring them up, talk to them, go and, go and visit them. You heard Graham, you heard um, Ronald talk about the, the absolutely beautiful war memorial that we have out there for our Aboriginal returned servicemen and women. Ring Bundyara up and ask if you can go out and have a look at it. They have a beautiful bow shed out there that you can sit under and reflect. They have the street work youth organisation just across the road. Go and talk to them and ask them about the Aboriginal culture. Get out there and do it. Don't be ashamed. That's what I say. We're here to help you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.